Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Safety webcast. In this video, we are going to install Microsoft Exchange 2019 on Windows Server 2019. As we all know that the Exchange server is a messaging solution from Microsoft and the latest version of Exchange is Exchange Server 2019. In this demo, I will cover the steps to graphically install Exchange Server 2019 on Windows Server 2019. For this demo, we will use the test lab created in VirtualBox. We have two Windows Server 2019 VMs running in VirtualBox. The first server is our domain controller with the host name ex19-dc01. In our Active Directory environment, we have only one domain, which is malb.local, and this is the root domain controller of that domain. On the server, we have installed and configured Active Directory domain services with DNS server role. and the second server is our member server on which we are planning to install actions 2019 this computer is part of our active directory domain malb.local on the server already i have logged in with the credential of our domain administrator in the last video we have installed all the required softwares on our member server which are needed by actions 2019 we have also extended adds schema and prepared our active directory infrastructure for exchange 2019 installation now we are ready to start the graphical installation of exchange 2019 on windows server 2019 remember you need to insert or mount the exchange installation media on windows server 2019 already i have mounted the as image of exchange 2019 cu5 let's open file explorer and here you can see that iso image is already mounted exchange server 2019 cu5 let's right click on it and select open here we need to run setup.exe command as an administrator so let's right click on setup.exe application and select run as administrator let me minimize file explorer and so manage console as well It is highly suggested to always check for the updates before you start the installation. But this virtual machine is not connected with internet and that's why I'm going to select don't check for the updates right now. Let's click on next to proceed. Once you click on next button the setup will copy the installation binaries to the local drive and prepare for the installation. On the introduction page review the content and click on next to continue. Select I accept the terms in the license agreements and then click on next. Choose the recommended settings for the installation and click on next to continue. Just like Exchange 2016, Exchange 2019 only has a mailbox rule and age transport rule. Select mailbox rule. And as you can see once you selected mailbox rule, you are not able to select age transport rule. and the management tools options is also selected automatically based on the selection if you have not installed required windows component then select automatically installed windows server rules and features a checkbox although we have already installed all required rules and features selecting this option will ensure that if we have miss anything the setup will install it for us let's click on next to continue Select the location for our Exchange Server installation. As of now, we are going with a default installation, which is on a C drive. Let's click on Next. Choose whether to enable or disable malware scanning and click on Next. It is checking for the prerequisites. If uh, any prerequisites is pending, it is going to give you the error. And if you have successfully installed all prerequisites, then you can start the deployment. Okay, we are good to go. Let's click on install button to start the installation. The installation process will take some time to complete depends on your system hardware configuration. As you can see installation has been completed successfully you can read congratulations setup has finished successfully 
to complete the installation of Exchange 2019, reboot the computer. Let's click on Finish button and let's manually close our manager console. And uh, let's restart uh, Windows Server 2019 computer. After reboot, let's again log into our Action Server 2019. I'll use the credential of our two main administrator. First, let's open File Explorer. Let's double click on a C drive, and there will be a one directory named Exchange Setup Logs. Let's double click on it. Let me double click on the file name exchange setup. Let me maximize it. And here all the information are there on whatever happened during the installation of Exchange Server 2019 from the starting to ending. Okay, here you can see the message is there that that Exchange installation setup has been completed successfully. So if you get any error during the installation of Exchange 2019, you can get the help of this Exchange Setup Logs to get the more information about the error. Let me close it and let's close File Explorer as well. Now we are going to verify the installation of Exchange 2019 by opening Exchange 2019 Administrative Center. The Exchange Administration Center (EAC) is the web-based management console to manage Exchange 2019. Let's click on Internet Explorer. In the web browser, type the URL HTTPS colon double slash localhost slash ECP. Let's press Enter key. It will give us the message that the site is not secure because by default Exchange 2019 is using a self-signed certificate. Let's click on more information and click on go on to the web page. Okay, this is Exchange Admin Center. Let's provide the username and password. Click on sign in. Let's select the time zone and click on save. Under mailboxes, we can see the mailbox of our user administrator. Let's open a new tab in Internet Explorer. Let's type URL HTTPS colon double slash localhost slash OVA. Let's click on more information and click on go on to web page. We are accessing the mailbox of our user administrator. It is not asking for the username and password because already we have logged in using the credential of our administrator on ECP. Fine. Let's click on new mail to send a mail. Let's click on send. Let's wait for a few seconds. And here we go, we are receiving a mail from administrator. That means Actions 2019 is working properly. So that's it for this video demonstration. We have successfully installed Actions 2019 on Windows Server 2019 using graphical user interface. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.